Islam is going to use a way out for women not to live in miserable life with a husband who is a bad one, the abuse of sin. So there is a way out. Of course, I really want to say that. If I don't think she wants to do that, if there's a match, I will not stop. 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 I find it very interesting that in Islam as well that uh, men have similar rights to women. For example, a man is allowed to take four wives, and the man they took more than four wives as well. Um, and it seems like a, a great injustice because on the you man you bring up. Are you discussing that? What was your name? Good, good. By the way, what you mentioned is good. This is something which is important. God knows firstly what is the duty, the task of men, and what is the task of women. So they do give women things that we can not their task, and the same they do they give men stuff. So the point is, for example, part of the duty, for example, of a woman, for example, in giving birth, that's their task. In the, in the slide, yeah? yeah. So is that expected from men to give birth? Yeah, not expected. But well, I simply say no one is. Yeah. So that's it. So that shows as well. That shows as well. And taking care of the children is part of the task of the woman at, at the young age. I'm talking about when they are babies. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Breastfeeding, looking after, all of these things. Now, due to this, due to this, is already that God knew what the task of the woman and actually God favored women over the men with these tasks. That's why the prophet peace be upon him, he says the right of the women to work their children is three times than the right of the father. And no one will say, oh, why, why, why I'm not I'm the father, I should be the same thing. But it is equal between father and mother. Actually, favor the mother over the, the father. That's the thing here. So that's why for me... They have that right. No, 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 actually no. In terms of, in terms of what? I mean, it's why you... It's your belief that I... No, I in terms they of what? No, no, that's in not terms true. of marriage. No, no. They can't marry, they can't take four husbands. Well, okay. That would what? be to general. All right, good. Husbands, okay, then. Is this, is this the one that you have, you have an issue with? I, there are a few, there are a few issues let's say, I let's, have. Let's use it. Okay. Now here, what do you name a woman who is having more than more than one relation in the week? Uh, it's basically that's how it is. Yeah. But as well, it is recognized by all faiths that even the Judaism, even in the Christianity, in the, in the, in the Old Testament, they're talking about prophets even you know giving and people who have more yes. than one wife. As well as, but Islam True. put restriction. You can't have unlimited. You but have you, up to four. But you would accept that Christianity changed that in the New Testament. No, so actually, we, actually, actually, that, that is it's really, it's but, very clear. Now, marriage is but this, man is, this, this is this is this is this is not this is not the word of Jesus. But the Quran, the Quran confirms to us that the Bible is the word of God. No, the original. It does. Yeah, and in the in we have. By the way, we're going to accept you understand? I told you initially. We're talking about the I'm talking about the gospel. I, I understand. I understand. Okay, so don't bring me this one. The one you have it nowadays, King James Bible. Don't tell me this is the gospel. I, I'm not even saying that. But what I, my first one I'm saying is this. Shake. Oh, hey. Oh. So going back to the point. Yeah. So when God gives the husband, the man to marry more than one, it's a lot of responsibility. It's not taking responsibility. Do you understand? And that's why God has said if you are unable to prepare, then you can do it. Meaning, if you are able to look after, if you are able to provide. We just before we came, we were just discussing this with the sisters, for example, about the tasks of men. Men they don't understand their duty. The man has to to provide, to protect, to look after. That's his duty to do that. The women, even if, he, she, if she sees her husband struggling financially, she is not obliged actually to support him financially. That's not her duty to do that. It's his duty. It's his duty to do it. Meaning, she is, will be looked after. She will be spent, you know, that he has to spend on her for all of whatever life that she's, that she's, she's comfortable with. That's his duty. And that's a privilege for women. You know, it would be wrong for a woman to take more than one husband. I agree with it because yeah. that's, that's not morally right. Why, why is it okay why for a husband to take more? No, no, because that's why? morally right. Now, my point is going back to, going back to the original yeah. thing. Who knows yeah. about that sweet that is God? So when God gives this authority for a reason, that men they go to war, they die. The number of women generally in many cases, you will find the number of women more than the number of women in many cases. 
and as well because of the desperate press, because men are, are required actually to fight, to defend their countries, etc. And women, they are not required to do that. And also, now, what happens in Berlin, for example, after the, the Allies, when they came to Berlin, they found actually the number of men, the left, remaining men from the Germans, they are even actually, they said nine to one, nine women for one man. That's how it is in Berlin alone. Meaning that there are many men being killed in, from yes. the German men. So, so Islam put a solution for the women to have personal uh, and having a Someone is there to support them, them to support them, financially, etc. Why? That is something else. But I'm, I'm saying to you, this is how it is. That's what I'm telling you. Secondly, when God gives this authority, the, when God gives this task action to the man, is basically to remind the man that his responsibility towards the women. Not the other one. She doesn't have any responsibility for him about financially or protection. Yes, now ask you a question. Why is it okay for a man to have for husbands and it's forbidden for women to The man doesn't have for husbands. Sorry, 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 yeah. For wives. Sorry, yeah. they spoke down. But why is it okay for a man to have for wives but the woman can't take for husbands? Oh, that would be wrong in my opinion. I, I don't, I, that's, that, that's why, because you're using your analogy. We're not using your... We, uh, so I don't have your brain. Yeah. I don't have your brain to decide. We, we do not, and, and you don't have my brain to decide. So we should have an objective thing we decide, yes? Do you follow the will of the I'm just asking you, why? I'm, I'm telling you. Okay. I'm, just tell me. Yeah, just tell me. I'm telling you. Okay, please. Yeah. My, my thing, uh, okay, then, then listen to what I'm yeah, telling yeah, you. Yeah, I'll listen, I'll listen. Okay. So, because you think it's not right. He thinks it's not right. I think it's right. He thinks we should have unlimited number of women. Some people, they said we shouldn't have many. Like there is a new guy here who said he said we shouldn't marry at all. We should just be and let, let, let the humanity just dissolve. Yeah. So, everyone has their own thing. Who decides what's right, what's wrong? I'm, I'm asking you why you think it's right. If you could justify that. I'm, I'm, my I'm justification is so simple. Okay. I'm saying we should have an objective morality to decide what's right, what's wrong. Okay. I'm asking why is it discriminated on the basis of gender? Okay. Financial support for husbands. Yeah. Why is it discriminated on the basis of gender? Am I talking to you? Uh, but I can't. Uh, sorry. No, I can't focus. Okay. Okay. Because women, we are we, we are not like women. Women, women, they are good. They can't focus on different things. That, but here, women, we focus on one task. So I could focus on you then. I can focus on you. That's how. <laughs> so going back to the point. So when. We should have an objective morality. Yeah, this objective morality, who decided? Who decided? That objective morality has to come from the divine, from God. So when God is saying what is best for us, give me what is best for us. And God knows our capability. Like for example, even if you see animals, like you find one lion and there are many lions. Yeah? That's how it is. That's, that, this is in the, in this, from, this, from this perspective. But at the same time, us as a human being, which God has honored us and gives us this task for certain things. Firstly, the men, generally, they may die in the battle, they may die in the war, etc. And there will be women who will be left. And if every single man were married only a single woman, then what's going to happen with other women? That's another problem. The other thing as well, when God did this, it's a, it's a duty, it's not a privilege. People, they don't think in this way. People, they don't think in this way. It's a duty for the man and it's a task for the men rather than it's a privilege for the men to have multiple wives. Adding to this, adding, no, 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 that's not a privilege. We, 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 have, we have two, nearly two billion Muslims on hand, with less than one percent who are religious. Less than one percent from you. You understand less than one percent? Because they knew it's a big thing, it's a big task, it's a duty. Meaning you have to open a house here, you have to provide for this one exactly like this one, you have to spend time here exactly like you spend time here. And that's, 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 that's a man. You would agree that having wives, the husband and the wives can't have any more husbands. That is a privilege. I don't say that. 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 I don't say that
she was married to my grandfather when she was 10. My grandmother, she was born in 1935, around that time. So she was married to your grandfather when she was 10? No, sorry, she was born, exactly, to be precise. She was born in 1945. That's the that, that year that she was born. My grandfather, my, my father, he was born in 1955. Jesus, when she was married to my grandfather, yes. and I asked her this question, the same question as now you're done breaking, Because nowadays, girls and daughters, they don't marry at this age. And I asked her the same question. I said to her, how come you were married at the age of 10? And she said to me, I was one of the latest ones who got married. Me, he said, her generation, all of them, they got married. And I will tell you how she was mature enough to give birth and to look after a child. And I told her, how is that? She said, at that time, when she had her first period, she was eight and a half or nine years. Yeah? That's one thing. The other thing, she gave birth to my father when she was 10 or nearly 11 years old. Yes? Okay, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what she suffers now. I'll tell you what she suffers. She gave birth to my father, and my father was born seven months premature baby. Now, I want you to use your analogy now to think about it. Was she able to take care of her children at that age or not? That I want you to not do. What she has done, because my father was premature, my father, Michelle, now is giant now, but at that time he said he was tiny. What she has done, and they didn't have the hospital nowadays, you know what, what do you call it? It's with it, what do you say? Yeah? Incubator. They didn't did have incubator. They, they did have never heard about it. What she did, she went to a pillow, she made the pillow, and she stuffed the pillow with ash. Yeah? With ash. This ash, which is fine ash. She stuffed the pillow all around. She just only the face of the child just only appeared from the pillow and the whole baby is covered with ash and she used to she she made this and she keep she kept my father in that kind of like different by the way you can jump no no i don't want to jump in let me just finish what i'm saying yeah so she was breastfeeding my father when she when he was in that pillow for nearly two months she will only take him out when she was to clean him to turn him back in the pillow and he continued for this because the ash it keep the heat okay fine. Yeah. but the thing is my my friend my friend my friend my friend my friend but let me talk let me talk you, you will talk, talk. Let, me, let me finish okay fine, i didn't finish fine, okay, right. finish so so and then my father survived after my father and i'm saying so she was mature enough to look after a baby who was born premature and not just that she gave birth to 15 children yeah Died, three died for her and 12 survived, yeah? They died because of uh, whatever, you know, diseases, whatever, these things, yeah? And some of them were with injection. They sent us from Britain, injection to, to protect us, and some children died. Now, now the point is, and she lived until she was nearly it's 80. It's about living though. Yeah. It's about, it's and about she, the fact that... And she lived know. until 80. I don't know what science. Is not, is tell me, tell me what science. Tell me what science. She was ready. She was to give back. No, but the nine-year-old girl is not ready to say. She, she was ten. You know what? You yeah. can go online. I'm from Afghanistan. You can go online. Yeah. The villages right now. You get married at night. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, listen, yeah, what you are doing, by the yeah. way, yeah. Your issue, your issue, by the way, your issue is you are using your your own narrative and wanted it's to all my narrative in science. No, no, no. Scientific evidence. Scientific okay. evidence. Child, child development study show the girl of nine is not ready to have sex. What about no, what, 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 what about what about my grandmother? I I feel sorry for your grandmother, honestly. Not feel sorry. She was happy. She was that. But she was honestly, happy. I, because I <laughs> How she is not ready? Do you understand? Ready to be a mother. Yeah, but she was ten, ready. Ten, my friend, but ten, she was ready. Uh, you understand? You, you wouldn't marry a nine-year-old. No, at this stage, no, because now the the girl they are not really mentally to look after children, to look after children. But that time is different. They were able, they were capable to look after a family and to look after children. And actually, she told me. It was the best thing that has done for her because when she was living with her with her with her father, 
because her mother passed away. She was living with her father. She has to look after the whole family. When she got married to my grandfather, at least there is one person she can talk as well. You understand? So she was able and capable to take care of her child with a premature, born as a premature. She was able and capable to look after him and he survived. You understand? Sheikh, so, and this is documented. Sheikh, Sheikh, what about you? All what the science you? thing is from the window. Sheikh, what about, what about, you? Are you from the UK, right? Yes. Who is it? Which king that he married a 10 year old? All, all, all of them, man. What about the kids? I, I, them, I, them. It's not about you. By the way, by the way, it's about not you. What is the child? By the way, who is the child? Can you give me a definition about the child? I would say that a, the child is someone who comes before. Is, I'm not asking you after it's finished. So if you what do you mean after it's finished? You haven't finished pubis at all, the child. You're, a you're still child. in your pubis. <laughs> you still child. As in, so if you, so for example, if you're a child and you 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 into you, right? And you haven't finished that. What do you mean finish? You the shoot the finish. Yeah. The definition is good. Like somebody the science, the science. I see an adult is like, like somebody who's pretty person. No, the science. They yeah. say the adult, basically the child, yeah. who did not reach the age of puberty, Google it and you'll find it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So if someone reached the age of puberty, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. yeah. She was playing with dolls, though. Yes, and, but, but she reached the age of puberty. Are pictures like raw? No, no, they're not raw. No, so not you can have pictures, not for children. So she is a child, though. No. She's playing with dolls. No, that's why when, when there is a girl, for example, we have many sisters, for example, who got married. Yeah. Uh, even nowadays, who are 25 years old, they, they still have their teddy bear. What's the problem with this? Does that make them children? Sorry, well, I can not I see your question. If, if a married woman nowadays, yeah. she kept her teddy bear, does that make her a child? If she kept it, what, sorry? Teddy, teddy bear. bear. Teddy bear. Teddy bear. Yeah. If, if I would say if a nine-year-old girl is playing with dolls, Come on. she's not ready to say. That's my... By the way, she wasn't... By the way, she wasn't playing with it. She kept it. And that's totally different. But, but she, she kept it. Like, 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 two like, two like, civilizations. Like, like, my brother, his issue, I will tell you what His issue, Aisha, radiallahu anha. Why the Prophet peace be upon he stayed for three years before the marriage was to Yes, okay. So he was, he was married at six, he the dog. At the age of nine. Yeah. Why is that? She narrated until he, she got her peace. When she got her peace, she became the chief. She was able to do that. Okay. Simple as that. All I would say is she was playing with dolls. No, that which, was before. Which suggests that, that was before. By the way, that but was why would why, why, why you marry a six year old? That's normal. Why would you marry a so by the way, by the way, by the way right? she was entitled. I will tell you something. No one here would marry six. There is a, there is as well another narration. Yeah. A woman who was betrothed to a man. When the time, when the time of the marriage comes, when she was able to get married, she came to the prophet peace and she said, "I don't want to marry him. I don't like him." And then the prophet withdrew the marriage, basically. So Aisha, she was entitled to say, "I don't want to carry in the marriage." When she reached the age of puberty, which means that was called betrothed marriage, meaning to promise to marriage. When they reach the age of puberty, they are able to decide to go ahead, and they are able to decide to withdraw. I think the idea. I don't want you to. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to do that. What's your name? I'm Perry. Perry, that's a question. Does it say? Yeah, no one. What do you think? Yeah. So, you so are. Yeah, so, they use their own time. They don't use their own standard, their own standard. They apply it everywhere. Yeah. Which is part of the transition. And let's just not go far off. No, yeah. Should yeah. give a summary. Am I right? The summary, okay. Who is the king that I'm very well? 10 year old? I think Henry VIII. Henry VIII. Let's talk about Henry VIII. Okay. What's the matter? He was a king. He was a king. He was a king of England. Okay. So, okay, anyway, so my brothers and sisters, we always have these, you, you know, people they bring this, uh, yeah. you could say, Shit. Shit. yeah. Richard was the first married 12 year old. No, it was nine. Richard, 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 Richard,
where we put that nowadays? Nowadays. Uh, let me just finish my point. Nowadays, in America, you have to shave. I just gave it over. You know, there are some states in America. They're 10 years old. Why is that acceptable? You know, I think I just came from Texas. I just came from Texas. You know that. That's 14 in America. Oh, okay. Yeah, 14 years old. Let me, let me make Here in the UK, it's, 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 it's 18. It's 18. It's 18. It's 18. You should be 16. Why are you accepting? You accept the full. You accept this Peter Billiger there? No, no. Here, no, it is. They say it. Because here, it's man made law. Here, it's man made law. No, because it's, if you look at child development studies, it's very clear that a girl at nine is not developed. So, so are you Seriously, saying. Seriously, don't marry a nine year old. Are you saying. It's very bad for her. Are you it's saying. Very bad. What about 14? I, I was 18 because the thing is, you, have to, you have to allow the child to develop. What about even at 14? Even at 14, you have to do it. Why are you deciding that? What? You know, six months What's the issue? Six months ago, you can marry someone. This is the issue. I can see how so. Here, the people they wanted to use their own narrative, their own standard, and to generalize it to everywhere and every time. And that's the problem. All these, by the way, laws, man made laws, which is a pedophilia, to decide this is pedophilia, that's what they wanted to do. Rather than we, we are urging them to go back and to see and to use the same analogy, what we, what the, in the previous time, they used to allow, for example, women as long as women or men, if they reach their puberty, they are adults. In Islam. And that's how it is. They are adults, they are entitled to do that. And as this within the laws of the land, and it is again within the laws of the land, meaning the laws of the land, they will see what is the what is the best for the children, what is the right thing for the children, as well. Women and men as well have to be mature enough to look after families, to take care of their children, etc. And that's the thing.